Welcome to Chamber Exchange, a TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. And Chamber Exchange, a TV show, is an opportunity for us to talk about economic development, jobs, public policy, and uh, with many of our chamber member businesses and organizations, have a conversation with them. The show is brought to you by our sponsors, uh, Bank Hometown, and this year joining us, St. Vincent Hospital. So I want to thank both Bank Hometown and St. Vincent for making the show happen. Pleased to have back, it's that time of year again, uh, Catherine Coughlin, who's the Development Director of the Central Mass Housing Alliance and Friendly House. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for having me. This is my favorite time of year, so I'm always happy to be on the show. Yeah, and the, and the thing that we are referring to is the, the uh, what will be the 39th Walk for the Homeless, uh, yeah. a, a major walk and a fundraiser for the Central Mass Housing Alliance. Yeah, we're super excited. Um, you know, our walk is just getting more popular, especially with everything that's happening and not a lot of organizations have had the opportunity to say that this is their 39th annual right. walk so we're doing it really big this year um, we've got some new volunteer groups that are coming out we've got some new things that are happening at walk um, and we're actually bringing back the barbecue um, so ed stern's dress meats from Alton charlton will be coming out and cooking for us for the day so we'll have hot dogs and hamburgers and just bringing things back it's going to be a really great day yeah i mean as a chamber as an organization from a public policy point of view and economic development point of view we've been we did a major study in 2019 mm -hmm. that really underscored uh, the need for more housing of all different types, supportive housing, affordable housing, workforce, market mm -hmm. rate. Um, and we were kind of talking offset. I mean, this is an issue that's all across the state, all yeah. across New England, all across the country. Um, but to have an organization like uh, the Central Mass Housing Alliance that's focused on this every day, is important for the families and individuals you serve. Oh yeah, for sure. And we're definitely seeing a rise of things that are happening coming through Worcester, coming through the county. Um, for example, you know, Becker College, we took over three of the dorms there now and we're at full capacity. I think we have 60 families um, out there and they're constantly rotating with, you know, families are getting permanent housing, which is great. And then there's another family, you know, just waiting to take the spot. So our staff has been, you know, just really struggling to get things, you know, keeping people up to speed yeah. and getting them housed and um, it's yeah it's been it's been great we're really we're really lucky we have a good staff um, that really care about these people yeah and that, that those are the uh, former dorms in Leicester mm -hmm. that's right um, but maybe just you know for a viewer might not be uh, familiar with the Central Mass Housing Alliance and obviously 39th year <laughs> you wouldn't be around 39 years unless you were there was a need and you were doing things well uh, some of the funding that you mm -hmm. raise comes privately and one of the things that uh, we've been so impressed with is that so many of our chamber member businesses are mm -hmm. supporters and sponsors of this walk and oh, yeah, the, 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 the good work that you do. But you, you, your funding comes uh, private, some state, federal, mm -hmm. to kind of help uh, provide pathways for individuals and families to for permanent affordable housing. Yeah, exactly. So we have um, a bunch of different programs. We do get state and uh, government funding from HUD, from the um, ELOC, Living Communities, and those do a lot of the shelter funding. And then on the flip side, I do a lot of grant writing. We have our walk. Um, you know, the walk dollars are really great because they, they get split between Friendly House and the Hour of Need uh, Family Shelter. So they're supporting their prevention programs and also CMHA prevention programs. So we, for the city of Worcester, we manage the rental assistance. So some of the dollars go into that. Um, we also have another program that we work with churches that sell and do fundraising on behalf of us called Hope for Housing. And then those funds allow us to, for example, if you have somebody who's been doubled up for a while and now they're moving into permanent housing, but they can't get their stuff out of storage or they need money for a mattress, things like that. We have funds available to help people and our caseworkers do a lot of that. Um, Donations Clearinghouse is also one of our biggest programs. Our furniture bank, um, any anyone who's coming from a referral, they get another social service agency. They can come in and take a look at what we have and it's all free to them. People can pick a couch, tables, dressers, nightstands. Um, they, sometimes we have money f to buy mattresses. So a lot of times we have you know new mattresses we can give to these families as well. And all of that runs on donations and grants. So we're we're really lucky um, that the city and you know Worcester County and whole sees our value and they, they support us a lot with these programs. And a big piece of that is if you can get you know family in mm -hmm. back you know maybe if they've been through the, the, the shelter system, get them in uh, without additional cost, uh, they're more likely to be able to stay and, yep. and, and take take root. Oh yeah, absolutely. We have a stabilization program for our families that are moving out of shelter too that, you know, we have a case manager, they work with landlords, they make sure the families are on track because, you know, we, we want them to succeed. We don't want them to, you know, be back in a couple of years and we're trying to just make some 
positive lasting changes this way. And you mentioned that just to go back from it, the, the rental assistance, that's another important program. Mm -hmm. I mean, the best thing to do is to prevent someone or family or individual from becoming homeless or having the eviction process start to begin with. Now, yep. could be a medical emergency, could be mm -hmm. a, a, car, a car that needs to be fixed so people can get to work and that can, can sometimes cause for somebody to be late or behind with rent, you mm -hmm. can work with a family maybe to help address that. Yeah, absolutely. So we always tell people if, you, if you're if you in danger of a housing crisis, reach out, um, especially you know if you're already at that point and you're getting the 14 day, day notice, don't wait, um, just call us and reach out. We have been working through some grant writing that I've been doing um, with some local Worcester businesses and we're trying to get funding and to create a fund for people before they get to that housing crisis. So hopefully um, in the next couple of months we'll be able to roll some stuff out, but that would be ideal too to even get to people before they hit that point, before they're getting that 14 day notice and it's rush, rush, rush. Um, so that's, that's really our goal is to try to keep people housed as right, right. much but as possible. Senator in Worcester, but you do work without the county and. Mm -hmm. Uh, my, my guess, I guess is I probably know the, the answer to the question I'm asking, but uh, obviously a need, you know, as you said, people get placed, mm -hmm. you get someone else, uh, current situation out there, how would you describe it? Um, you know, it's, it's interesting to see because we, um, we have a, a hotel motel program for families that are waiting in the shelter. So it's interesting to see how quickly our staff, as soon as somebody goes into housing, I think it's probably three or four hours, they turn over the room because they know that these families don't want to be staying in the hotel either. At least now they have their own space and it's a little more um, private and they can get settled in and more support, you know, when they're all in the community. It's hard about thinking about the future when you're in a mm -hmm. hotel room with really kids is. and a family. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to make a plan and to right. see kind of what, what's next. So that's that's our goal is to get people, you know, moving around as fast as possible and, and ideally everybody into permanent housing. Mm -hmm. So the, the walk, uh, your biggest fundraiser uh, and oh, yeah. annual. So maybe you could, we could talk uh, a little <laughs> bit about that. It's you, traditionally always starts and ends at Elm Park, right? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so it's going to be Sunday, May 19th uh, at Elm Park. And the walk actually kicks off at 2, but we're opening up at 12 this year. And we have WXLO that's going to be coming um, to play some music. And then Chuck and Mud, they've been, I think, part of the walk since the beginning. They'll be there at 2 o'clock to help us kick off. Um, and then we walk through this, you know, up to Newton Square or the Rotary and then back down to Elm Park. Um, and then we'll have food afterwards and music and games. So it's going to be really great. And right. yeah, it's, it's a good and day. If anybody's asking the distance of the walk, how far? Roughly three miles. Three miles, okay. Roughly three miles, and, yes. And you've got a commitment, the weather's <laughs> going to be good. Yep, we put in the order for the good weather. Um, we called the high school kids and we got them all jazzed up. So I think we have about 100 uh, volunteers that have signed up so far. So if you've ever been on the walk, they line the whole route and right. we give the kids noisemakers and they just really make the day super special. So and that's, traditionally, that's great. how many people walk? Last year we had 350 walkers and 150 volunteers. Great, great. Yeah, so we're hoping for probably about 500 walkers this year. All right, and uh, there's a website, walk for the homeless, yep. all one word, dot org. Yep, that's the best way to get information on the walk or to donate, sign up your team, or to sign up to volunteer. Got it. So uh, the uh, 39th uh, annual walk for the homeless uh, for, uh, to benefit the Central Mass Housing Alliance and Friendly mm -hmm. House, both uh, iconic, really important organizations for Worcester in the region. Uh, and just glad that so many businesses and individuals and volunteers are supporting this effort. Sunday, May 19th, the walk starts at 2, but the fun starts at noon. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.